Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a very highly requested version of a how I take notes video and this will be specifically based on the subject of math. I will be sharing some of my note taking essentials specifically for math and then I will get into how I take notes for math and at the end I actually have prepared a little surprise so stay tuned till the end for a little giveaway. And before we jump into the video, I'd like to thank Texas Instrument for sponsoring today's video as well as the giveaway so I will talk a lot more about about their products later on. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it and subscribe to join the family. Now let's finally get started. For my note-taking essentials, if you've just been watching me for I'd say like the past couple of months, you can probably picture most of these in your head. So the first thing I have, aka my favorite thing, is the mild liners and these are my favorite highlighters. They now actually have brush and chisel tip, which I absolutely adore and you will get to see how I use them later on. This next item is colored pens and now I think I said a couple times before that I genuinely don't like writing in different colors for my notes. I guess I'll make an exception for math. I do like to write some of the key terms in a different color to make it stand out. So this next item is a calculator and for the IB diploma program we were required to purchase a graphing calculator and the one I ended up getting was the TI-84 Plus CE in white from Texas Instrument. In the beginning it actually took me quite a while to get used to using this calculator and that's because I've been using scientific ones all my life but once you get used to it and see all the extra functions you can use it's honestly super helpful. So while this calculator covers all the trig related stuff so like sine, cosine, tan, and then the inverses or like logs, so basically all the basic functions you would find on a scientific calculator. Now additionally, as the name suggests a graphing calculator, it also helps you graph equations. All you have to do is just go under y equal and plug in your equation and then it'll graph the entire thing for you. It honestly saves so much time, especially for my papers for IB. And there's just so much you can do with this calculator that I won't even be able to cover given a dedicated video to it, but I definitely found it really useful for probability and calculus, which I'll show like a little bit later on. But just play around with it when you have time and learn all the functions you will need for your exam. And now onto the final bits of the essentials. I just have a black pen. This is the 0.5 retractable black pen from Muji. And I quite like the handwriting that this pen gives me. Does that even make sense? Along with that, I also have a ruler. This is the one I got from the dollar store and it expands to 30 centimeters, which is very useful. And then I have a Pentel Fuda Touch brush pen for my titles, as well as a whiteout because I'm writing in pen. Now let's actually get on to what I'd say the main part of this video is how I take notes for math. I would honestly say that it's quite similar to my other note taking video I've made, but now I'm going to talk more specifics of math. Essentially for math, it follows the format of explanation, example, and another example with a little summary at the end. Here I'm doing a little brief flip through of my notes just to give you guys like a general example of how it looks like overall. By the way, all the math notes I've shown you guys here, I've written in class during a lecture and I don't actually make the time to rewrite them after school. Usually we're given like a decent amount of time to write things down neatly and I understand not everyone can do that so maybe rewriting your notes would be an option for some people. Now to set up our page for note taking, I'm just grabbing this random notebook. You can use any paper you prefer. So I'm using the Pentel Fuda Touch pen to write down the title of the lesson, but you can do any variation with your titles or even just write it down plainly. But I feel like as long as it stands out, that's the most important part. Now, as the lesson goes along, I will keep adding subtopics as we get to it and then keep adding information and example below. Whenever I get some time, I will actually highlight the title and I will use the same color for the entirety of the unit to keep it coherent. Personally, write my notes in point form, which I assume is like the most common way. And I use a little dot to write down any information and then a dash to add additional information. It's rare that you'll ever see my notes with more than a dot and a dash. I just try to stick to those two because it makes my notes the most concise and minimal. Now for examples, you see a lot of these in math than you do in any other subject. So I just use EX with a little half of a bracket and then I'll just write down whatever examples. And then for math, I also use a triangle to specify 
clarify any important points that my teachers make or like mistakes not to make, then a star if they ever mention anything about this being on the test. I honestly try to keep my system very minimal so I can follow through it when I'm writing notes during the lecture. So to show you how I use different colored pens for math, I will just write down an explanation and when it comes to a keyword, I will switch to the color that usually matches the highlighting that I did and then I will go back to black to explain more about it. Again, I only use one other color because it just makes it stand out more as well as it's easy to switch during lectures. So when it comes to writing examples, if given enough time, I will try to do it as he explains on my calculator, just so I find it, I understand things better that way. Here I'm showing you a very simple example of which you can utilize your calculator for calculating derivatives. So to calculate the simple derivative, all you have to do is go under the button math and then it'll pop out the first screen and then click number eight, which is end deriv open bracket. And at the end, all you have to do is just plug in all your variables and equations. At the end of my example, I will just underline the answer or draw a circle around it. And I try to do the same thing when I'm doing practice problems just to get into the habit of doing it on the exam so it's easier for the marker to distinguish your final answer. Again, I use a triangle to indicate mistakes not to make, quick summaries, and a star to indicate possible problems that might pop up on a test. And so that concludes the video on how I take notes for math. If you want to win the same TI-84 plus CE calculator that I have in white, then check the description box below for all the rules to enter. Now, as you may or may not know, this is the last video of my back to school series, which makes me kind of sad because that means I have to go back to school. But not only that, I feel like this summer has been such a great one, especially on YouTube. I've made so many memories with all of my subscribers and it just means so much to me. So I've included this three minute clip of me studying just because a lot of you have been asking for study inspiration and I have not had enough clips to make an entire video. So I hope you guys enjoy the next three, four minutes and yeah, that concludes my back to school series. At the same time though, I feel like it's not super devastating because honestly throughout the school year, all my videos are surrounding the topic of studying. So it's like I'm doing back to school all year long. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say. Definitely vlogs are making a comeback. I'm going to try to do weekly vlogs to document my senior year. And honestly, I wish you guys a successful school year and a productive one. Now, unfortunately, I'll have to start getting ready for my first day of school. So I will just talk to you guys in my next video.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments, subscribe, and if you want to listen to me talk for another two hours about my life, then check out my podcast, which will be linked below or on the screen right now. Again, don't forget to enter the giveaway if you're interested, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!